How's it going everyone? Welcome to this video and welcome to my beard journey. That's right, I want to take you on this journey going from baby face all the way through to that patchy beard. The first attempts, many attempts at growing a beard. I'm going to highlight where I reached peak beard and how it's been through these years. Guys, the journey starts back at 23 years old in 2014. This, what you see here, is what I'm rocking underneath this beard. You know, at a decent level of body fat, that's the face that we got on the go there. So off I went to China at 23 years old. And then this first picture here, you see the stubble appearing. Okay, I was out there traveling around the world. I thought, hey, let's get a little bit of a rugged look on the go. And that's what I was working with at 23 years old. I just want to highlight that. I get a lot of people, I know there's a lot of people out there, 18, and I was like that as well, 18 years old, you're younger, worrying about the beard, can I get a good beard? Well, this is what I was at, into, well into my 20s, 23 years old, you know, I'd grow it for a week or two, get a little bit of dark shade in there, and you can see it here, the top knot stage, this is at 24 years old now, a year later, I was growing a little top knot, and you can see there, Something of a shape, just sort of on the tash, strong bit in the chin area, and of course, you know, a little bit on the cheekbone. Now, 24 years old in 2015, this is my first attempt, guys, my first attempt at growing a proper beard. And you can see a little detailed look here at how said beard was looking. As you can see, sparse, sparse around the cheeks, sparse on the tash, and this is a really good one here. This, I don't know. I want to say this is at least a few months of growth. And this is my attempt at, at growing a beard. Sorry about all the flexing here, but it shows the beard or what I thought was, you know, something of a beard quite nicely. I was going to go for that man bun, the long hair and the beard. And I just want to stop on this picture here quickly. This is a good friend of mine who, when he really let it grow out, he had an awesome beard. And I want to highlight this thing of comparing yourself to others, right? It's not good. I was always comparing from the youngest times when my friends in school could already rock a beard at like 17 years old and I had nothing. And if I look back on this picture, actually, it's kind of similar. It's not that far off, but I thought I had the worst beard ever. Stage, again, 24 years old. And these pictures show it really well. This is quite honest, natural lighting, obviously black and white pictures here. But this is really the situation that I was working with, like I said, at 24 years old. The dark under the chin there, um, tash not super strong, especially in the middle, a big piece missing. You can see there the cheeks and especially under the bottom lip really are the weakest areas that I had going on there. So this is 24 years old. I just, you know, had my first year in China. I'd been to America for a nice solid holiday for a couple of weeks. I went back to China. I cleaned up my look and this is what I call that I'm going to be an actor phase, right? I was determined I was going to be an actor. I'm not really sure where it came from exactly. Probably back in those early sort of movie roles I had in China, those like light parts. And um, we're at 2016 now, guys. We're going to jump to 2016 and I'm having another go at the beard. This is me out in Japan. Okay, I'd obviously had that short hair, clean shaven for pretty much between... 24 the rest of 24 to 25 years old but i was going to have another go okay I'd, I'd already cut the hair i'd let peer pressure get to me guys i wasn't going to let that happen again so i was going for that man bun and bearded look once again so here i am i'm growing out the hair and this is the longest i had ever let my beard grow this is about three at least three months of no haircut and no shaving. This picture there highlights really well. There's back with that old friend I went to America with. And this picture highlights really well where the strengths were in the beard and where the downsides were, so to speak. Again, the tash at this age, 25 years old, a really thin tash. I mean, obviously it's still not strong now. You can see it here. And this bare area under the chin was really, really, really super thin. So guys, we're going to skip on, okay, after this 25 years old, hitting 2017 at 26 years old, the hair, I'd still let the hair go, but I'd given up once again on the beard. I thought it looked messy. I thought it looked thin. So my second attempt at the beard had gone. And this is a little shot here. Long hair, no beard, back with the stubble. Rocking pretty much the same amount of stubble um, as I had since 23. 
And I left that hippie stage, guys, the long hair. And I cut my hair short and I shaved the beard once again. I gave up. I didn't achieve the full man bun. I didn't achieve the full beard. I gave up once again, guys. At 26 years old here in 2017, you can see an up-close picture there of the sort of stubble situation. I'd met my now wife at this point. And yeah, there's the stubble situation. This is what I look like day to day with that hair, sort of hair, classic hairstyle. And at the stubble stages, you know, a week's growth, let's say, this is what I would rock. As you know, I went bold. Okay, I went bold and this is the look I was going for. Here, I'm at this sort of buzz cut at the very early stages, at the buzz cut stage, with a pretty sort of thin beard, like I said. Here I am teaching you guys how to make cakes. And again, I'm just doing this stubble. I was like, come on, I'm bold now. Why can't I grow a good beard yet? Like I said, I'm 26 years old here. You can see the hair there, which is quite interesting. I've still actually got quite a bit of hair on top. Much, uh, much more than I have now. But I just wanted to take note. You can still see that on the chin and under the sort of the chin is the main girth of the beard that's where it's strongest but i really wasn't happy with the way the cheeks were looking uh under the bottom lip and of course the tash so i rocked this buzz cut messy beard for quite a while really quite interesting shot here this is um an actual like little dose of alopecia areata that i had um but again i just kind of wanted to show the beard again this is sort of a couple months growth this is the third attempt at growing a beard and I I really tried I really really tried to do it this time but I just never let it grow enough at this I always got to this stage at like three months in and I gave up okay I always got to this stage and thought it's just not going to come together it's not going to look good and I gave up so I ended up shaving this off you can see where it starts to sort of curl in a little bit get real wispy real wiry and I gave up, guys. I thought, hey, can I rock a tash? Um, I think the answer is probably no. The tash not really strong enough, but I styled it and gave it a go anyway. Maybe I'll have to do that again one day. And I shaved it off. There's me rocking the buzz cut with, again, once again, just that sort of weekly startable. I would just shave it off with a razor and not shave for like a good week, week and a half. It's 2018. That's my wife when she dyed her hair and it was an absolute fail. I'm transitioning here from the buzz cut into the full shave. And this is what I look like if I had basically a shaved head, like proper, you know, down to the, as you can see it here now, uh, razor shave with this sort of week's growth of stubble. And you know what? I'm not hating this look. So at 27 years old, 2018, 27 years old, this is how I was looking now, bold, with a weak, you know, just a very light stubble, but I didn't have that dark stubble, so I kind of didn't like that look. I didn't really like that look either. I thought there's nothing going on there. Although looking back now, I actually think it looks all right, you know. Uh, this was me attempting to do it, uh, waking up at 5 a.m. every day. That doesn't even seem early now because I start work at that time now anyway. But there I am. That's what I look like with the razor shave with a bit of stubble in case any of you guys were wondering. And here it goes, June, 2000, June 2018 at 27 years old is the start of Bold Cafe. You can see me there, shaved head, razor shave. And this is a first little trip to Thailand with my wife at 27 years old. And this is what I was looking like on the daily, okay? This is the sort of look I was going for. Clean shaven, pretty all round. Bold Cafe was kicking off. I was putting a lot of effort into that. And I was just determined, I was like, come on, I've got, I'm making all these videos about being bold. I've given up so many times on the facial hair. I need to do this. Don't mind these selfies here. A little bit off putting, I know, but here we are at 27 years old, which is quite old for a lot of guys to really give the beard a solid go. I was like, no, I'm not having it anymore. We got the YouTube channel. I'm going to document my progress. I'm determined to push past that awkward stage, the three month stage, I've got to go past it. So you can see this is what we're rocking with when we first kind of start it. And this entered my life, guys. Not through hair loss, but researching beards and how to get a better beard. Of course, you're going to stumble across this whole minoxidil beard thing. I'm going to go into a little bit more detail in a minute. But basically, guys, I gave it a try. I was like, 
right, this is a starting point. I've got a month of growth here, let's say. Let's give the beard thing one last try. Does this minoxidil thing really work for your beard? People will say, put it on for six months and you're going to have an epic beard. This is the best attempt I'd had at a beard before. I was determined to beat that. And yeah, the minoxidil, I'm not going to lie. I was hoping it was going to fill in the cheeks and fill in the under part here, under the bottom lip. I went for it. Twice daily, I was using this minoxidil. I wanted to use it as an experiment. I didn't want to use it long term, but people were saying, hey, six months, at most a year, you use this stuff, you're going to have an epic beard. Really good detail here. Here's the 1st of July when the beard journey, the real determined beard journey began. 27 years old, this is what I was working with. So if there's any guys watching this and they're rocking something similar, like I said, this is about a month's growth here. If you too think your beard is sparse, is thin, is patchy at the sort of early stages, then I hope what is going to come in this video is going to be interesting to you, for you. So there we go. This is my first little update. I was like, right, this is where we're starting with now few little pictures in here this is how it looked kind of day to day like again like I said again I've got the shaved head um, and this is how it kind of looked you know I was like all right it doesn't look great let's be honest a little bit messy people were already telling me on the YouTube channel they were like yo you need to shave it off it looks rubbish but I was like no I'm not listening to that I'm going for it I'm determined now to do it and I made a video talking about different inspirations from different people and again, it's comparing yourself to different people. It's not a good thing to do. But they're good for, for serving as like inspiration. Like, come on, you can do it. You can have a good beard. But you are individual, right? Your facial hair is what you, it's you. And you, I just think you've got to do what you can do with yourself. You can't be looking at these people and think, I want to look exactly like that because you're never going to look exactly like that. So here we go. The beard journey was full, in full swing. We're going to jump to a month later, and this is how it's looking a month later. One month of using the minoxidil. No huge progress, a bit more in length. Didn't really notice anything in terms of density, but hey, that's what people were saying. People were saying to me, you, it needs to be at least three, four months before you notice anything. So we've got quite detailed updates here on the beard. So the YouTube channel was still going strong i was doing lots of pictures i hated this picture back here when my beard was looking really thin kind of in the sun so many times guys i was like oh, just give up just give up it's not worth it a couple of night shots here threw on some of the tattoos but i was determined i was determined we're now in august 2018 i'm having a little trip back to the uk i give you a few uh slightly slightly serial killer vibes selfie but the beard, I was having fun with it, guys. Too much, I was having fun with it. I wasn't sure if it was filling in. I didn't touch it, by the way. I didn't touch it. I didn't cut it at all. I didn't sort of thin it out. Obviously, I didn't want to thin it out. I wanted it thicker. But, you know, I wasn't touching up the cheek lines. I wasn't trying to style it, even though everyone was saying to me, oh, you need to use beard oil. You need to style it. You need to do all these things. I was like, yeah, I know. It just, I don't have that super straight beard. I was just going for the natural approach. So we've got a ton, a ton of pictures here, all from the same trip back in August. There's my good friend who you've seen. You see him. He's always rocked that beard style. And I was like, yeah, I'm going for the beard now this time, dude. Uh, interestingly, you see this statue here? That was the one that featured back there when I first did that movie. And here I was visiting all these years later with a completely different look. And um, yeah, here we go. August 2018. Now we're on September the 7th, so three months in into this minoxidil, uh, roughly four months, let's say, of growing facial hair. And this is how it was looking. It was starting to get some waves in the beard, but as you can see, it was starting to kind of poke out on the sides. And everyone was telling me, you need to cut it, you need to cut it. But if I had cut it, I would have never gotten past that stage. I wanted a bit of length. I, I needed length in the hairs to kind of cover over each other and to kind of you know i thought eventually they would get enough weight so that they would go down but for a long time goes four months in i had this super messy beard like really messy but i kept going with it and as you can see i've pushed past the stage that i always used to give up one annoying thing i was noticing about the minoxidil is how 
it really it gave the white flakes were real the white flakes that i would always get in my beard i i kept having to like brush them out all the time and in these pictures i was trying to upload to instagram or in youtube videos i would always notice white flakes in my beard i hated that um, and I was starting to do more research into this minoxidil and, and tr trying to figure out right, how long am I going to need to use this stuff for. But there's a solid update. This has got to be about four months in now into the beard. Still going strong. And we hit October. And this is where I just let it go. I'm like, right, I'm not going to shave it now. I'm going to do a year. I'm going gonna, I'm gonna to keep this beard for a year. I'm going to keep using this minoxidil. Okay, I felt like it was doing something. I would always check the hairs under here at the size of the corner of my mouth. 4.5 months here in October of the beard growth. And you can really see how those sides are sort of poking out. Super messy beard, right? But this is the thing. If there's anyone who wants to grow a beard, this is the stage you've got to get past. You've got to get past this stage where people are telling you, yo, man, you need to shave that thing off. It doesn't look good. You know, you need to do this, you need to do that. Stay true to yourself. If you want to do it, if you want to keep going, if you want to really see how this beard is going to look, you need to get past this awkward stage that he hits you about four, five, six months of growing a solid beard. But by this point, I'm not going to lie, I was having fun with it. Okay, I was having fun with it. I was getting a lot of cool pictures for Instagram and I really felt like the beard was coming in. It was coming into its own. I was get, I was really starting to enjoy these these pictures. You can see it, it definitely is filling out. I loved it so much. I even made these little beard routine stories, videos on Instagram. You know, I was using products. I remember the first time I started using beard oil and I just loved that woody scent. I felt, I'm not going to lie, I, it felt manly. I, I was like, I'm really enjoying this. And that's why, honestly, cut to the chase, that's why I haven't shaved this beard off since, because I just enjoy having it. Like, I enjoy putting the, that beard oil in. There's nothing beats a classic, like, woody scented beard oil. You know, I was taking loads of fun pictures. I was still doing these updates here. This is in November now, so we're, we're getting to the five, six month mark. And I really felt like the beard was coming in. It was starting to thicken up on the sides, but... I don't actually think it was necessarily more hair there. It's just as the hairs get longer, they do cover up those those thin patches. And maybe some hairs take months and months to even come out a little bit. So Bold Cafe was still going strong. There's me on top of a helipad. Like I said, I was still really enjoying taking a lot of these pictures. We were getting some cool shots here. Some really sort of hipster vibes. But guys, I was really enjoying the look. I dyed the beard for the first time as well. You can see... I wasn't sure about the beard dye, okay? It didn't last very long. It looked kind of slightly artificial because it actually dyes the hair. I'm sorry, dyes the skin underneath darker as well, which makes your beard look way darker than it really is. I'm still going strong. December now, December. So we're talking, wow, like six months into the beard, seven months of growth, six months of using the minoxidil. And in a minute, you know, we're doing different looks here with the suits. Um... I also went onto this mountain and got my absolute bucket list beard shot. So I'm going to put this on screen for a bit longer. You know, you've seen those guys on Instagram. I think they're ice surfers or in, in, the, in the really icy water they go surfing. You get that epic ice all in the beard. That was something I wanted to achieve for ages. But I've put some pretty candid shots in there so you can kind of see unedited ones with the lighting. So you can kind of see how it looks. Like I said, having a lot of fun. I put this really cool beard accessory video out on YouTube, um, which is super awesome. You know, it was just fun to have this beard and fun to, to be able to do different things with it. You got loads of different accessories. Like I said, I was using different combs, different oils, and we're about to hit January. We are fast approaching optimal beard length, guys. The best the beard had ever looked. In January, at 28 years old, these are some of the best shots that I got where, like I've written here, I reached optimal beard. These, you know, the beard was looking dense. It was looking, it had a really nice natural shape to it. I hadn't cut it at all. It was so good, I decided I was going to stop using the minoxidil. So this is almost a year on now. You saw some shots there back when I was in Thailand. The first time will I return to Thailand with an epic beard. Now, I'd stopped using minoxidil, and I want to just touch on this quickly. It was coming out on a lot of the minoxidil forums and people making videos that you needed to use this stuff either continuously to keep that beard going 
or you had to use it for like one, like more than a year. People were now saying like two to three years. And I was looking at this beard and the fact I was using this stuff, you know, I was against it for you, you know, using it for, to keep hold of that hair. And I was like, I don't want to be relying on this stuff now to hold on to this beard. I was like, you know, yeah, I've managed to grow a good beard, but how responsible is this monoxidil? I started it off as an experiment to see what it would really do. I was, to be honest, I was expecting like the, the pictures I'd seen, mind blowing results. And I just, there was something, something like, you know what? Natural's the best way to go here. Natural's the best way to go. I'm gonna stop using this stuff and whatever happens will happen to the beard. If it all falls out or if it gets really thin, then so be it. But something told me that it wouldn't. Now it wasn't all plain sailing, okay? You can already see in this shot here, how the light was kind of starting to get through the beard. And even like not a week or two weeks after stopping using this stuff, I was noticing that I was getting a few little gaps in the beard, uh, especially at the end of it, okay? But the beard was super long, right? It was super long at this point. And what you're gonna see is we're reaching the point of diminishing returns. It was getting so long. I think everybody's beard has this like optimal length. And when you go past that, you know, you go past it. And so what you're gonna to start to see in some of these pictures is towards the end, I'm getting this scoop, this bit where at the end, it, it's starting to really, it, it looks like it's starting to thin out quite honestly. So 10 months from the start, and like I said, point of diminishing returns. You can see at the sides and at the bottom of the beard here, how it is getting, it looks like it's getting thinner. There's loads more light passing through. Um, and, and like I said, these are, most of these are unedited shots. And in some, you know, some shots of the beard would look good. And in others, you know, it really didn't. So this is March now. I still haven't cut my beard at all. I haven't cut it. These pictures here are very telling. Okay, these are the longest my beard had got. And this was... It was too much, okay? It was too much. You can see there at the end, some of these are really gonna gonna show it nicely. You can see how the very tip of the beard is just too long. It's just too long. And for that reason, it was time for a beard trim, right? It was time for a beard trim. Um, but before that, I'm gonna admit, there we go. This is how it went. So this is from the start to the end. And this is where I decided, hey, I need to cut this thing now. So 10 months, all in all, roughly 10, 11 months. Here is the best beard shot just before I cut it that I randomly snapped an unedited one and an edited one. Um, I was like mesmerized by that shot. I was look, it looked so epic. But what you're going to see here is how it would often look day to day, right? That was a lucky kind of snap. But you can see in some of these selfie shots I was doing for other videos. I mean, look at that there. That is how it looked. You know, quite often actually. You know I mean, you have good beer days, you have bad beer days. And I was really starting to worry at this point. I was like, oh no, it's all falling out. The beard looks terrible. I was thinking of cutting it off completely. You know, I, I was putting Instagram stories like, should I cut it off? Shouldn't I? But I thought, hey, maybe a just a beard trim is, is what I need. So I trimmed it back. I trimmed it myself. I mean, damn, you can see in this video here, I really, really needed that that trim just where the light was kind of going through it, it didn't look healthy. I was trying to think like, have I done something wrong here? Like, have I not been eating properly? Have I been washing it too much? Do I need to use different beard oils? And not really, you know, like I said, I do think after I stopped the minoxidil that it definitely thinned out more. It definitely did. But I just felt more comfortable. I was like, right, if, if this is what I can have permanently without relying on any products or anything, then so be it. I'm going to make peace with that and I'm just going to rock what I've got. So if I gained anything from, from the Minoxidil, I, I definitely lost it after I stopped using it. And like I said, I was consistently using it for like eight months. But that whole thing, that whole thing of like relying on something to have something that you don't already have, to me, it just isn't a solid, isn't a strong mindset to have. And, and like I said, I didn't want to be relying on it. You know, when I was off traveling in Thailand, I didn't want to have to, oh, I've got to put the minoxidil oil in and then I've got to be careful if the sun goes on it or I can't go swimming at the beach because I've got this in, I don't want to wash it out. I didn't want to be living like that. So like I said, I stopped using it and the beard thinned out and it, and it got to a point where it just really wasn't looking good. It wasn't looking good. 
But hey, I had a beard trim and this is how it looked after. Slightly boxy. You know, I'm no professional barber, but I kind of liked it for the first sort of attempt. And from then on out, you know, I had had a couple more beard trims since then. But I've really just maintained this look that you see in most of these pictures. And I honestly cut it like once every, I want to say six months. I mean, I had a beard at my wedding, which was fun. You know, it looked pretty good then. Uh, I had it at my birthday at 29 years old. So at 29 years old, which is how old I am now, this is pretty much how the beard looks in most of these shots. No minoxidil, no crazy beard trims. You know, I like to keep it natural. And you know what? I think we did okay. Over the years, you saw that three failed attempts at growing a beard. I used the minoxidil. It was fun while it lasted, but I was getting all the white flakes in it. I think I was having heart palpitations. It could have been my mind, you know, playing tricks on me. But I was waking up as I was falling asleep. I wake up with my heart beating. Boom, 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 boom. That kind of threw me off. The fact I was, I felt like I was beginning to rely on it for this sort of illusion of having a, a better beard. It was. It just wasn't going to take me far, okay? It wasn't long, it had no longevity doing that. So I stopped using that. And I've maintained this, and you know what? I love it. I really, really enjoy having this beard. Looking back at some of those shots where I don't have the beard, you know, it's kind of not a bad look either. And from my own experience, I know this is, you know, in some ways it doesn't offer them a lot of comfort because we all want those epic beards like you saw in some of these these guys on Instagram, you know, who have just epic, thick, dense beers. But honestly, it's really surprising what you can work with. I lost whatever, whatever the minoxidil gave me, if it gave me anything, I definitely lost it because you could see how it kind of thinned out almost immediately started. I remember the end of that Thailand holiday. I was like, this beard, is it the heat? Is it the summer? Like, what is it? Because the beard just isn't looking as good. Maybe I was paranoid. I don't know. But you know what, if this is how I could go naturally from what you saw there at the start, you know, where it, when it's stubble, when it's a month in, it looks super thin. But when you just commit, when you commit to that five, six, seven months, if you want a beard, guys, and if you really commit to it, I think you'll be pleasantly surprised at what you can grow from the starting point to what you can end up with, okay? And I hope you enjoyed it. I hope you enjoyed that little look at, at the kind of beard journey, how I've, you know, dabbled in facial hair along the way. Will the beard stay forever? Probably not. I've thought about when I get to 100 subscribers, shaving it off, going clean shaven for a bit, because I want to represent for the guys out there who really feel like they can't rock a beard, at least now. Like I said, I went, when I was 20, 21, 22, 23, I had nothing going on there. Really thin stubble, if anything. You know, as I've got older, I think beards really come in with age. You're even talking, you know, into your 30s, beards can still make progress. The best progress is made when you fully commit to it and just enjoy it. Enjoy the facial hair that you can rock. That is how you're going to be most comfortable with it. Style what you can, whether it even is just a little bit of shadow on there, okay? If you want to do it, then do it. I think everyone should at least try it at some point. It's good fun. But don't beat yourself up if you're a young guy and you feel like you haven't got, you know, the best beard genetics or you at this stage in your life, you can't grow a great beard because you never know what might happen in the future. But I thought it was fun, right? I thought it was fun to kind of look back on this stuff. I hope you enjoyed it. I get asked about the beard, you know, quite a lot. I know this was a really long video, guys, so sorry about that. But I hope you I hope you enjoyed looking through it. Like I said, I just enjoy having the beard at the moment. It makes for some cool pictures. Will I have it forever? No. Uh, let me know what you think. Let me know about your own sort of beard journey, whether you want to start to grow a beard. Maybe this has inspired you to give it a go. Guys and ladies, if there's any ladies watching, I really hope you enjoyed this video. I want to thank you so much for watching and I will see you in that next video. Goodbye.